Axiandela is a social media marketer, influencer, trainer, and strategist uh, who's actually grown and used the power of social media to create a business and an influence that has resonated across Africa. Okay. <laughs> Social media is unpredictable. Oh my goodness, especially in Kenya. I started in 2008 on Facebook. Um, uh, the journey started when I created a, one Facebook page. And um, I think in a matter of days, hours, it grew really popular. And I was like, I think I can create more pages like that. So I created a second one, shared it on the first page since it had popularity. The second one grew, the third one grew again. I made four or five, up to around I think 20 or 30 or so. So I decided to create my own brand and my own hand. That is XTNLA and I never thought it would be this of a big deal. I love Twitter. Kenyans on Twitter are just crazy. You will never go on Twitter and not laugh. You will never go to Twitter and not get motivated or psyched or get breaking news and it's so unpredictable and I love the unpredictability nature of social media, especially in Kenya. I love using my social media platform to grow people. I love using my social media pr uh, uh, platform to connect Kenyans. Ah, <sighs> social media. People use social media as a tool to attack people. They use social media as a tool to hate and bring people down instead of lifting each other up. At the end of the day, we're bringing ourselves down as Africans and as human beings, which is not good. Funny thing about Kenyans or human beings, we never look, we never see the good side of social media. And if someone does good on social media, we never actually appreciate, we only look at the bad. Remember, XD and Della started with a lie. And XD and Della started with a follower. At the end of the day, as I said, uh, you grow your followers, you grow your voice. It never started like, like, bam, like XD and Della, bam, like you're the man. Today, the most influential Kenyan uh, African on Twitter. I actually want that award, not bragging about it. Uh, you are the most influential African on Twitter overnight. It took me eight years years of consistency, persistence, and hard work, sleepless nights. I actually sleep around three or four hours each and every day, planning my content, making sure that I'm better than yesterday. And you need to research, you need to know your content right. You need to start from a follower. Make sure that that follower that you have, you retain them. I always wanted to be on radio. I tried applying, I've done a lot of interviews, uh, radio, but I never got it. Because uh, kind, I think people need connections or something like that. But social media has really helped me because I remember I just tweeted and said, I think I'd love to be on radio. Can someone please help me get on radio? Yes, I tweeted. And uh, it, didn't, it didn't even uh, go beyond a week. I got a call. I say, yo, Della, uh, you tweeted that you wanted to be on radio. I said, yes, can you please come for an interview? I went, said, what type of show do you want? I told them, I say, okay, you can start next month. I'm like, yo, are you guys for real? Are you kidding me or something? I said, no. I think you're really, really influential, you have the numbers, and I think it's time that you put the voice to the keyboard. This is something I never thought would be real, would come to uh, actuality, if there's a word like that in English. But it's all because of social media, and social media is my life. I live, breathe, eat, think, plan, and will die social media.